A lot of scripts I've heard have shot in Indonesia. Action! And, uh, and we got along fantastic. I had this huge vacation plan. Then I got the script and I, I talked to Connor and Rob. I love the script. And then learning that it was shooting in Indonesia, again I was 50-50. Kellen is, uh, is more similar to me. He's young, he's really, you know, like enthusiastic in every scene we do. He's... Oh, whoa! <laughs> Ready to record? And action. Jason one. Jake. Mr. One. I'm Lieutenant Hashi. With being an American in a new type of society, disregards the cops, he has to get his mission done. Name. So there's a lot of threats that he encounters on the way. You promised me a name. Okay, and Leo had a suggestion to come up from the coffee on here. Absolutely. It's lovely. Okay. okay. I want to run through the lines. Okay, ready? Yeah. yeah. Quietly. Oh, sorry. He's uh, stuck in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. And dialogue. Worldly, very not sympathetic, but uh, just uh, interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Indonesia just has is a beautiful place to make a movie. Um, you know, the backdrops here are just wonderful. It's everything you could want in a sort of exotic adventure kind of movie. Action, guys. No! My family! Go! Beautiful locations, the wonderful people, the fascinating stories there are to tell in this part of the world uh, that are really untold, and the, and the great crews and filmmakers. The temple. Borbador, we got to shoot on Borbador, and wow, that blew me away. And it was just really uh, eye-opening to be there and then see all the lighting and seeing what we were doing. And it's just, it's an amazing experience being here because I didn't know Borbador was so close. We were doing a lot of things, and it was slow. So the resetting of 600 extras is brutal. But the people here were so thankful, I mean, they did such an amazing job. We had 600 extras that day at Borbdor. And it's, it's, it's not a fun thing being an extra in those conditions. And it was a big shot, we had elephants. I've always wanted to see the wonders of the world. And then shooting there and actually making a movie on this world wonder that no one's done is really special to me. But everyone's just amazing. I love the people. Okay, I lunch. Very pumped up. How you say? Enthusiastic. Yeah, young, full of vitality, you know. Piece of vinegar, you know. Really good cowboy. <laughs> Working with Mickey. Yeah, I was really surprised. He, uh, he's a legend. Working and having him on board with Java, he, he plays a perfect Malik. He brought life to Malik. And uh, 
really just put a smile on my face because you kind of have a vision of who it could be. We were tossing around different ideas with actors and uh, I'm glad that Mickey loved it and, and wanted to be a part of it. I, I don't get shy working with people. I learn a lot from them. Mickey, I learned. Who's number one? Number one! A lot of, of randomness from, a lot of life lessons that were very much old Hollywood lessons that I don't think work nowadays. Young Hollywood, the ones who don't remember my reputation, so they have no fear of what they don't know. So, so in a way, it's a good chance for me, good chance for him. Uh, it's great being a part of the young Hollywood crowd. I feel like a lot of young Hollywood's taking over the old Hollywood franchise movies. Good. You know, I really hope I get to take over a franchise one day as well. It's, it's great, you know, a lot of action scenes, which is something that I haven't done before. You know, there's Hashim getting blown up and Hashim, you know, getting blood and stuff. Die! Especially, it's a good opportunity for me, you know, especially playing with you know, uh, like Kellen and Mickey Rourke. This is amazing. So it's been a very good experience for me. And cheers for the coffee. Oh. Yeah. Uh, he comes up with crazy stories. That's what I like. <laughs> My role is uh, PZR. He's a grand wizard. Go! We talk about Japanese culture as a PZR. Maybe I represent those culture. He's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just a movie. He wanted to make a difference. He wanted to make Indonesia an Islamic state. Because he's very sure that once Indonesia is in an Islamic state, everything will be okay. With crime, you know, if you have heat on you. So Javahid has got multiple meanings. It's it's about uh, you know it's a it's a term alluding to this this the thriller nature of the film. And then Javahid to me thinks uh, you know it's like the situations that we're encountering is big business. The other meaning of it is that. Um, Tropical country. It's a it's a hot country. It's a country where uh, the, the main character, the American Jake, is out of place. Java heat. Wait, wait. I love the uh, I love this place. Allah! Allah! Another day on Java, Java Heat.